Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here at Mad About Skin, we're passionate about helping you to get the most out of your skincare. So if you haven't already, now's a fantastic time to click the link below, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and you won't miss out on any of our amazing content. We've got some fantastic things in the works, so make sure you don't miss out on any of it. And if you haven't already, go check out our last video, which was on um, facial rolling, jade rolling, where we've got a fantastic giveaway, which is still ongoing, so it's not too late to enter. So go check that out and enter the giveaway away if you haven't already. Now today's video we're going to be talking micellar water. I get so many literally bombarded with comments on Instagram and your YouTube about micellar water. Should people be using it? Does it work? Um, can it form part of a double cleanse? What are the benefits? Um, which ones to use? Loads of questions. So I thought rather than answer all of them individually I'll jump on film a video. Now this was taking me about a week to get into filming because I wanted to try some micellar waters. It's not something I use regularly in my routine. So I wanted to buy some, try some, so I can give you some recommendations. So stay to the end where I'm going to be talking about the best micellar waters out there um, and ones for different skin types and who it's applicable to basically. So got quite a bit to say, so I thought we'll jump straight in and talk about what is micellar water. Well, micellar water is an old French staple in beauty routines. It dates back many, many, many decades in France, um, where traditionally the water, not the case now, but back then the water and the plumbing wasn't well, up to scratch. And so the water was quite harsh and um, not particularly pure. And as a result, people didn't really want to wash their faces with it. So um, French pharmacy cosmetic companies um, and pharmacologists came up with um, a solution, which was micellar water. All micellar water is, is a um, oil-based cleanser in the form of a micelle, which is the shape of the, uh, it's sort of in a round shape in the mid, which is held in suspense in water. And um, because oils generally um, are repelled by water and vice versa, it keeps in that suspension. So it feels like water. It has the viscosity of water. Yet if you put some micellar water on your finger and feel it, it does feel more oily and has a different, has a different feel than natural water would do. So they are fantastic at incorporating an oil-based cleansing element to your routine if you don't want to go up for a straight oil or a balm. So people like me who have um, quite oily, acneic skin can often find balms to be a bit off-putting. Um, if it's non-comedogenic, it's not going to clog your pores anyway, but there's still that mental block where you think, actually, do I want to be slathering all this grease and oil on my face when I'm worried about breakouts and greasy clogged skin anyway? So it's a really great alternative to um, using a traditional oil-based cleanser. Now, let's go into some of the pros and cons as I see my cellar water. So I think the pros are, it is really easy to use. So I've got, this is the original one. This is Bioderma. Um, this, this has been around in France for decades, but I think this is the first one which really hit shelves here in the UK and over in the US. About five to 10 years ago, it went crazy and this was the original. Now there's been loads of dupes, loads of other brands have come out with their own micellar waters, but this was the original. So if you take this, um, I think one of the big pros of any micellar water is it is easy to use. You get a cotton pad, you put some on, you wipe it across your face and you discard the cotton pad. So um, from that perspective, super, super easy to use. Another pro I think of using it is that it doesn't leave too much on the skin. So often if you're using a balm based cleanser, it can feel like even after you've washed it and emulsified it, there's still something tacky. There's still, still something sitting on the skin. Micellar water, because of the chemical composition of it and how it's um, structured, shouldn't leave too much of a residue on the skin, which makes it perfect for then going applying other products you've not got already got a layer on the skin that the other products have to work through before they can start working so from that perspective it's fantastic and um, I also do really like the fact generally and this this is a generalization so you do have to check the individual product most of them have very few ingredients in and um, when we talk about clean beauty natural and all of these these are the buzzwords actually none of them really mean anything what you should be looking for is minimal ingredients in your skincare products 
doesn't always apply, but as a general rule, the fewer the ingredients, I think the less reactive the product is going to be and generally the better the product is going to be for your skin. Micellar waters have generally very few ingredients. The main composition is, of course, water. Um, aqua is usually what it will appear on in the ingredients list and then it follows on with some obviously you have some preservatives in there and you have the oil composition but there's very few ingredients which I think is great another big pro is I think you can find some fantastic unscented micellar waters often when we have um, skincare it's really difficult to find unscented versions of products micellar water does there are quite a few unscented versions so if some if you're quite reactive to the addition of fragrance you'll find this absolutely fantastic and you know, you'll find it really easy to find some products. Now in terms of the cons, these are the things that I think, just generally speaking, I'm actually, I am a fan of micellar water. I don't use it personally every day and I'll talk through my reasons for that, but I am generally favor, in favor of it. There are some cons. So first of all, there's a lot of crap micellar waters out there. So Bioderma, which was this one, came out with their original Bioderma Micellar Water. Fantastic, game-changing, brilliant product. Because of all the dupes that came out, they all created their own micellar waters, all companies created their own micellar waters, and that was absolutely fine. Then, of course, they wanted to differentiate and create some their niche, create something different in the market, and so they started adding rubbish to it. So you end up with micellar water for dry skin, micellar water for oily skin, um, you get micellar water with added rose scent in it, you might get one with calming um, additions, you don't need any of that rubbish. Micellar water is applicable for all skin types. Now I'm not saying it's the best cleanser for all skin types, but all skin types could use, for example, the Bioderma basic um, micellar water. What you don't need is to be spending extra on one that's applicable for oily skin or one that's for dry skin or one that has calming rose extract in and all this rubbish. I think it's got a bit crazy because there's so many companies entering the market now. So many people are trying to differentiate their offering and so they're adding loads of rubbish in which doesn't add any value to the overall product but could be damaging or reactive to the skin. So that's one con. So I think if you're going to go for a micellar water, stick to one of the basics, the simple original formulations. Another con is it's not the most environmentally friendly form of cleansing. You know, every day I've got these, I had to use these cotton pads and every day you know, cotton as an ingredient, as a um, product is quite water intensive to create anyway. So it's got quite a high carbon footprint per gram anyway. And um, it also, you have to flush it. So I'll throw it in the bin. So you've got to use a cotton pad. Some people use two, then you have to put it in the, down the toilet, in the bin, whichever, whatever you're supposed to do in the jurisdiction you live. That's not that environmentally friendly when you could be doing a wash on, wash off cleanser just using your hands so there is that consideration and um, another con is they are generally on the more expensive side so the bioderma is ridiculously expensive compared to the, some of the others but even if you go for like a Nivea um, you're still going to be paying a fair amount so there is a cost implication there so who do I think should be using micellar water before I get into the recommendations I'm going to make and I'll, I've tried loads this week so I'll tell you exactly what I think of each one what who should be using it now a lot of people say, can I use it as the first step in my double cleanse? So I don't want to use a balm cleanser. I want to use a micellar water followed by a gel cleanser. Absolutely. Go ahead. Fantastic. It'll do just that. As the first step in a double cleanse, it is fantastic. It won't get off as much makeup as a balm cleanser. So just be aware if you are wearing quite a heavy drag look for the day, you know, you've gone out, you've had an amazing time, but you put a full face on, you look absolutely gorgeous, but you need to get all that makeup off probably not going to cut it by just using micellar water. So I would, if you're wearing a heavy makeup, I don't think it's going to be enough. But light makeup or no makeup, you know, you just want to get your sunscreen off or, you know, old products that you've got in your skin, absolutely fantastic for that. Use it and then use a gel cleanser afterwards and that's a perfect double cleanse. So yeah, absolutely, you can use it as part of your double cleanse. A lot of people also say, can I use it morning and night? Absolutely. Just treat it as a normal cleanser. The only thing reason I, I personally don't use it is I prefer to do a balm cleanser. I've got my favourites, I've got my go-tos, I either use a square lean or I use a balm. I prefer to incorporate some element of massage into my um, cleansing routine. You can't do that with a micellar water, it's a wipe on, wipe off. 
I like to massage a product in, do an element of facial massage when I'm cleansing. That's personal preference. It doesn't mean that these products don't work. So that's just my caveat. So you've decided you want to use a micellar water. Which ones should you use? Well, I've tried three this week. And I've tried to choose a good range of micellar waters. Um, first of all, I tried the Bioderma, which is the original. And I think it would be a crime to not try this one because this was the one that kickstarted the trend. This is probably the most famous of the micellar waters. I also tried the Garnier um, micellar water, which is in the UK is the biggest selling micellar water. So I thought I'd try that. That one has actually gone missing somewhere. I've got cats. They've probably stolen it, run off with it somewhere. <laughs> That's gone missing. And I also tried the Nivea micellar water. The reason I tried this one is it's the cheapest. So I thought I'd go for one that's really affordable, one that was the original go-to and one that's the best selling. So we get a good range. So Let's start with the Bioderma, the one that kickstarted it. This product is gorgeous. Honestly, this this little thimble sized amount, I mean, how much do I get in here? Uh, three fluid ounces, 100 mil, very little. This would probably last you two weeks. If you, if you, if you use it conservatively, you'd probably get two weeks out of this. It was five pounds. That's quite a lot for two weeks worth of cleanser for this amount. However, you can get a bigger one, which I think is about 500 mil or 300 mil. It's much bigger um, and that will work out more cost effective. I just didn't know whether I liked it or not. So I didn't want to buy the full size when I'm just trying it. Gorgeous. Honestly, just a fantastic micellar water. I'm going to, you know, full spoiler alert. If you've got the money, you should be buying this one. I don't think there's anything that really compares to the original Bioderma. Now do be careful because they do two other ones. They do one for sensitive skin and they do one with an added fragrance. Just don't, don't bother. Um, you don't need one for sensitive skin. This is absolutely fine for sensitive skin and any additions of fragrance is just rubbish. So don't bother with those. Only go for the pinky red topped original one. So the reason I love this is they have very few ingredients in. It's got basically eight ingredients in and quite a few of them are like cucumber extract which is going to calm and soothe the skin so they're not really you know they're not bad ingredients to have so having eight ingredients in a product that is fantastic basically what that means is you're getting quite a pure product you're not getting loads of additives that you don't need it's basic but it does the job this removes your and i go on sunscreen so i don't wear makeup day to day um, but I do wear sunscreen every single day and sunscreen is a pain to try and wash off So I always think a good cleanser will get your sunscreen off really quickly This does honestly you swipe it over on a cotton pad gone Amazing you don't need to do much rubbing because I say the same with um, when people are using um, cleansing wipes one of the big cons of a cleansing wipe is you're quite rough, you're scrubbing, you don't need to. This works so well you can literally just wipe it over the skin and then discard the cotton pad and it works I adore this. It leaves a very light residue on the skin, nothing like, nothing heavy or anything. And you could actually wash it off. You could splash your face with actual water and wash it off if you were that bothered. Uh, it does leave a slight residue, so that's something to consider. But this is a gorgeous product. And I honestly would rate this 10 out of 10. I I loved it. And I, I'm a bit sad that I haven't been using this before because I think for those days where particularly after I get out of the, if I go to the gym or if I go swimming, this is great to just have in your gym bag to just quickly wipe over the face to get rid of any, you know, sweat or grease, dirt, bacteria before you then jump in the shower. So I'll be definitely keeping this in my gym bag and using this. Fantastic. We now have the Nivea Micellar. Now, they emphasise the air because it's supposed to be as light as air, allowing your skin to breathe and leaving no residue. Now, this was the cheapest, so you get 100 mil, so the 3.3 fluid ounces, same as the Bioderma, and this was here in the UK, was £1.20. Dirt cheap. It was on offer, got it at the drugstore, and it was on offer, so I don't know what it is full price, but it's still the, definitely the cheapest I could find. However, it's my least favourite. I, I don't, I really hate companies that make really bold claims that can't back it up. So this says 0% residue guaranteed. Rubbish. Uh, you, you're, you're always going to have residue because you're wiping something off and not wash. You're wiping something on and not washing it off. So you're always going to have residue. So I don't know why they make a claim that there's no residue when clearly something is going to be left on the skin because you're not washing it off. That's not a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing that it's left on the skin. I just don't know why you make those claims. So I hated that. Um, it is slightly fragranced. Um, I don't mind, oh, <laughs> I don't mind the fragrance, but mm, um, it's got quite a, quite a lot more ingredients and preservatives um, 
in it than the Bioderma one does. Um, Again, it didn't react to my skin, so there's nothing wrong with the product itself, but I think it's got more ingredients, it's got more um, preservatives in, so it's more likely to cause a reaction than the Bioderma one will. Um, and it actually left more of a residue than Bioderma. So this claim that there's zero residue, a load of old rubbish, because it left more of a residue than the Bioderma. Um, it did definitely work. Um, it definitely got the dirt and the grime off. I just think I have quite an issue with how they're positioning the product. It's classed as a makeup remover. It's not, it's a cleanser. It does remove your makeup, but it's a cleanser. So I think that's a bit misleading. I don't like the residue claim. Um, and I think it says it soothes and hydrates with no need for rinsing. I mean, there's no ingredients in there that's going to soothe or hydrate the skin. It's going to cleanse them, fantastic, but it's not going to soothe or hydrate. Whereas on the Bioderma, you've got the addition of the cucumber extract, which is going to help soothe. Um, so, no. If you're on a budget, I actually think there's nothing wrong with this product. I would rate it 6 out of 10. I'm knocking off points for the claims which are unsubstantiated and I don't think actually apply um, I'm not particularly a fan of the branding and but the product isn't bad so six out of ten fine now onto the Garnier the missing Garnier it's in this house somewhere um that is the biggest selling micellar water in the UK now it's quite mid price so you can get a huge huge tub for under a 10 uh, about 500 mil for under 10 pounds that's a really good price point it's much cheaper than the Bioderma but it's not quite as cheap as the Nivea um, and actually I think it sits somewhere in between the two of them in terms of its performance so it did really work I'd say it's on a par with the Bioderma in terms of the amount of um, grime, grime, grease, dirt that it took off my skin it was just as good for getting off the um for getting off the sunscreen which is fantastic so yeah really really liked it from that a couple of issues it's got way more ingredients than the bioderma which again if you're trying to cut out ingredients trying to become a little bit more clean in your skincare i think you'd be safer with the bioderma than you would the garnier nothing wrong with it though didn't react with my skin it left minimal residue a little bit more than the bioderma but nothing Nothing, you know, that bothered me. And again, you can wash it off, so it's not an issue. Um, the branding is quite nice. Um, it's a mid-price point, so it's between the two that I've reviewed so far, so it's not so nice. So I'm going to give it an 8. I think it... Had I not have tried the Bioderma, I would have been perfectly happy with Garnier. I would have said, actually, this is perfectly good. It's a really good product. Gets off the makeup, gets off the SPF, works really well. I just don't think it's as good as the Bioderma. So, in terms of the battle of the micellar waters, overall, definitely get a micellar water. I actually think everybody, whether you use it day to day or not, everybody should have, and they come in these little cute little bottles, everybody should have one of these in their bag, in their makeup bag, because even just to take it to the gym to wipe off the grease, the sweat, would be worth it. Going to things like, I don't know, you know, if you're going to the beach or whatever and you want to take off your sunscreen before you put more on, fantastic. There's just loads of really good uses for a really convenient, small size cleanser that you don't need to wash off. I can't take my square lane cleanser when I go to the gym and it's too much work. This actually really good. So you could put a couple of cotton rounds in a bag with this and you're good to go. So yeah, I definitely think if you haven't got a micellar water, you should invest in one. And it's not a big investment. You know, you can get this. This is the top of the range one and it's a fiver. So five pounds, under ten dollars it's great i would definitely recommend getting one whether you want to use it as your go-to cleanser or the first step in your double cleanse really is up to you it's personal preference give it a go try but it certainly does work as a cleanser so i'm a big i am a big convert and a big fan I'm not going to be using it every single day but i'm definitely going to continue with this one i think in terms of the battle of which one i would go for if you've got the money and it's not a huge amount of money but you know different people have different price points and different budgets definitely go for the Bioderma. If you if your budget allows, there is nothing better. You will not regret buying the Bioderma. It is fantastic. Gorgeous. Just make sure you get the red capped one. None of the other ones that they've tried to create to boost the sales. Load of old rubbish. Definitely the red capped one, but it's gorgeous. If, if you're on a budget, budget... <sighs> I, this is rubbish. I, I just don't like this. I No, d ditch this and go for the Garnier one. Put an image of what it is there just so you can see it because I haven't got a thing for you to see. Um, but definitely go for the Garnier one if you're looking to cut the cost but still have a really, really good micellar water because that one works really well. Right, guys. Hope you found that really useful. Um, I didn't expect to like micellar water as much as I did. So there you go. Let me know which ones you use. Um, there's loads out there. Simple do one. Um, I know there's La Roche-Posay, which is another brand I adore. They do one. I just, you know, don't have, don't want to buy a million and one. I just wanted to try 
a few different price points and a few different drugstore products. But there's loads out there. So let me know which ones you've used. Leave me a comment below. Are there any that you think I should try? Because I'm a little bit hooked, so I'm going to be trying some other ones. Um, thank you for joining me in this video. Give this a big thumbs up. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, at SkinMab. We've got some great content on Instagram as well. So we'd love for you to join the family and um, visit us and join our community over there. Until the next video, guys, take care. Bye.